cruiserweight action between Dane Sayers and Joshua Dyer from earlier on tonight. Here's how we call it. Let's take a look at the tail of the tape. Well, you couldn't find two more evenly matched physical fighters, identical height-wise, weighed in identically. However, Dane Sayers, maybe with a little more mileage on those tires at 37 years of age. Let's get this thing started. Let's send it up into the pit to Jazz. Ladies and gentlemen, fight fans everywhere, here we go. Three rounds in the Valor Bare Knuckle Cruiser Weight Division. Your judges for this fight are Mark Fox, Ben Boucher, and Wayne Fox. And your third man in the pit is Keith Bear. And now, introducing fighting out of the blue zone. Tonight, he wears gray. He weighed in at 185 pounds. His professional fight record consists of nine fights. Fighting out of Sioux Falls, South Dakota, making his Valor Bare Knuckle debut. Introducing Josh D.D. Dyer. And now across the pit, fighting out of the red zone. Tonight he wears the blue camouflage. He weighed in at 186 pounds. He has 16 professional fights, fighting out of Fargo, North Dakota. UFC veteran making his Valor Bare Knuckle debut, presenting Dane Warhorse All right, hold on. Gentlemen, we went over the rules in the back. You know what we expect of you, you know what to do. You've been training for this. Listen to my command at all times. Protect yourselves at all times. Any questions? Touch up, let's go. Back up. Well, you heard Jazz. The red horse, Dane Sayers, is now the war horse. He's going to have to go to war with Josh Dyer. Round one, three three-minute hey. rounds in the cruiserweight division. We've got southpaw against conventional stance. We'll see who can keep the foot on the outside or go to the strong side on purpose to lure the power hand out of him and counter. Shot on the inside there from Dyer. Oh, buddy. Heads almost came together. Good nice. jab from Dyer. Quick. He's cut already. Cut already. Dyer's fired up. Oh, big right hand. Drop Sayers. One, two, stay back. Three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, ready. See the look in the eye of Dyer. He's ready to finish this. Down goes Sayers again. One. Outside of the fighting Two. zone. Second knockdown. Neutral corner. Neutral corner. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, fight. Two knockdowns I'll tell you what, he's already. not wasting any time. Let go. Listen, listen. Black Dyer getting a little wild in there. He's looking to finish this in the opening round. Sayers bleeding profusely right now. A lot of ducking going on. Close to headbutts there. Let go! Stop! These guys are at 110 miles an hour. Yeah, this has turned into an absolute brawl. Ready, fight! Look at the cut over his right eye. Sayers face an absolute mess. Shot oh, to the body. He is setting those up. Red zone. Oh, oh that was a big right shot. Hand. Stop. Do not pull the back of his head. Do not pull the back of his head. One, two. Sayers is, Sayers is Four, really getting roughed up here, five, bud. Six, seven, eight, fight. Dyer said that about Sayers. He Stop. will not quit. That was like Ready. a slip in freestyle wrestling. Inside the final minute, 40 seconds remaining in round one. Oh, oh he's gone. Devastating right hand, yeah. the mouthpiece flies out, and that is it. That one clipped him hard. It's over, it's over. A brutal, brutal right dominant down. performance from Josh D. Day Dyer. And you know what, Pat? Despite what the tail of the tape might have seen, 
clearly Dyer has rehydrated. He was a much, much bigger man in there tonight. He was, but you know, it, technically he was doing a good job of getting his lead foot on the outside of the lead foot of the lefty and landing that right hand. That ran, right hand was devastating. Uh, ca caused some severe damage. Great cuts over the eye. And eventually, you know, so many knockdowns, the referee had just seen enough. We told us strategically, I'm looking for a lazy left hand from Sayers, and I'm going to come over the top of the right hand. He did that again and again in, quite frankly, violent fashion. Well, and many times he didn't need to because he'd throw a feint or a jab, and his opponent's ducking down and, and eating those uppercuts and straight rights. So, hard to see your opponent when you're bent down looking for a... Uh, it's, I call it looking for a contact on the mat. I would have fought. You're not supposed to bend your waist and look down like that. Let's take a look at some of the knockdowns in that round. Dyer, I don't think he's really got any severe damage at all. Came out of it pretty, pretty clean, pretty clean. Look at how pumped up he is there. Here he is pulling down on the head. That's illegal. He's coming forward. Lands a right hand on the temple. There's a ref warning him for pulling down. And there's the right hand that clips him as he's coming through. Ran right into that one. And that's the end of the fight there. He'd had enough. So a devastating first round TKO for Josh D. Day Dyer. Let's make this one official. Let's send it up to Jazz. Ladies and gentlemen, make some noise for these warriors in the pit tonight. <laughs> Referee Keith Bear stops the fight at two minutes and 22 seconds of round number one. Your winner by TKO, Josh D. Day. Josh Dyer did what he said he would do. He came in, he stopped Dane Sayers. It was that devastating right hand. He said, I've never touched anyone with it that's never gone down. He made true on his promise here tonight. Let's send it up into the pit with Pat. All right, we're right here with Josh Dyer. Josh, you came in pretty motivated for this fight, buddy. I tell you what, you were shot out of the barrel of a gun after your opponent. Nobody can take this right hand. I've been telling people this for freaking years. If I touch you with this right hand, you are going down. All right, first off, don't touch me with the right hand, please. You, you've, got, you've got a little bit of a gash over your left eye, but I tell you what, you came out pretty unscathed, and there was a lot of knuckles flying in that one. Hey, nobody works as hard as me when it comes to training. I knew coming into this fight, he did not work as hard as I did. I knew coming into this fight, he did not put in the work that I did. I may be an underdog, because he's a UFC fighter. I don't care if you're UFC, pride doesn't matter. If you get in the ring with me, I'm taking you out. So it comes down to technicality of, of just being a technical fighter and having great endurance ultimately in this, in this type of fighting or any type of combat sport. Hey, it's very important. You're absolutely right about that. Um, I believe that uh, I'm not the most skilled boxer in the world, but I'm telling you, I'm one of the hardest damn hitters in the world. And that makes me one of the most dangerous boxers in the world. So it doesn't matter who you put in front of me. If I hit them, they are going down. And it's only a matter of time. I think everybody here witnessed that. Great fight, sir. Thank you. So Josh Dyer says he's one of the biggest hitters in the world. It's tough to argue with that when you look at the condition of Dane Sayers' face after that. A absolutely brutal performance. There's the shot that ended it. A right hand right on the chin, and Josh Dyer victorious in his bare knuckle debut.